Nice. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Insomniac and I'm here with another Xenoverse video. I'm gonna be showcasing a new moveset made by a modder. I can't remember his name, but I'm gonna have it in the description. But he made this mod where you can actually use the sword in the game now. And somebody actually made a model for a sword that can actually be pulled out. So we're gonna be checking the moveset out today. So I say, let's do this again. Let's go against Grievous. Grievous was beating my ass last time. <laughs> and so let's go to the Wasteland. All right, so if you notice the stance that your character will take, if you notice your uh, actual stance is different as well, you're kind of like, you kind of got this like macho Dragon Ball Z stance. So let's start off with the regular square, the regular light attack first, so. Okay, so pressing, pressing the X button just once does that. Basically does the, uh, that one super, I forgot what the name of it is, but you know which one I'm talking about. All right, so let's see. Ooh, oh my God. <laughs> it's still going. All right, so that's the whole, uh, <laughs> the whole uh, light attack string. So let's try out the heavy string. So it's definitely combining a few different attacks. Let's, let me do that again. So we got a couple stabs, some slashes. Oh, that was, uh... God, what is the move? What is the name of that move? Uh, Shining Slash, I think. So if you charge up the heavy attack, it's just one quick slash. Alright, I wonder if there's anything if you do a backslash. Ooh, okay, so... If you hold the, yeah, if you stay kind of back and then you do the, you do the light, sorry, the left analog stick back and hold down Y, you do the spinning slash. Oh, it's the same thing for X as well. All right, let's see what the grab is. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so you use the sword as a boomerang. All right, so let's try out a few different variations, combining the light and the strong attack. This is insane. You can basically just keep this combo string going. <laughs> you just keep the because there's no like cooldown. And maybe actually it's because I have the stamina all the way up. Hold on, let me. All right, so let's try. Let's see what happens if I have turn everything back to normal. Let's see how long I keep that string going. So that does a slash. So now the question is gonna be, can you use the, so those are all, those are basically all the uh, actual attacks. So now I'm curious, can you use the sword attacks with this sword? I haven't tried that yet. So let me go back, change my loadout and then I'll come back. All right, so I changed up all of my moves to just sword attacks. So, so that way we can see if the sword model works for everything. We already know it works with the actual uh, move set, but let's see if all the attacks actually work this way. <laughs> Hopefully it works because then you could actually make a, a, a swordsman build if you wanted to with this mod. So let's start off with Shining Slash. Alright, so let's see here. Is he grabbing the sword? Okay, so no, it looks like it's going to grab the standard sword that you normally get. All right, let's advance the frame. Oh no, wait a minute. So it does work, but it's as if he's holding like two swords. So he does use the sword. You just have both of them in your hands, basically. Which I mean, personally, I don't see any problem with that. That's still pretty cool because it's you're still using the sword. All right, so let's try burning slash. So it's going to be the same thing as the other one where 
So I think that's what's going to happen every time. You you basically are going to be holding your... You're basically going to be holding both swords. But once again, it's still... I still don't really care because you still at least have the sword out of the scabbard, so it still fits. And honestly, that happens so fast you don't even really see it unless you pay attention to it. Alright, so let's try Brave Sword Slash. Okay, Brave Sword Slash doesn't work. Damn, I forgot to hold on. There we go. Okay. So, Brave Sword Slash does not work. Alright, so Brave Sword Slash is the first one that actually didn't work. So let's try out Brave Sword Attack. Okay, Brave Sword Attack doesn't work. But it's also part of the part of the moveset. Like here you go. Let's see. Brave Sword Slash is already part of the, or sorry, Brave Sword Attack is already part of the moveset, so you really don't even need that one. All right, so let's try Burning Slash now, or sorry, no, uh, Sword of Hope. All right, and okay, so once again, it, it's not gonna work. So it only works, yeah, none of the attacks actually work with it. All right, cool. So that's everything with uh, that's everything with this mod that actually works. It's a really ins sorry, it's a really insane mod being able to finally have a sword. So if you're somebody that's playing Xenoverse and you want to be able to actually use your sword, I'm gonna have both the mods in the description. It's act they're actually really not hard to put on. They're super easy. They're just uh, INS or sorry x m x2 mod mx2 files whatever the file is called but if you're a modder you know what i'm talking about they're super easy to put on one caveat though that you need to know is that if you use this sword mod you see how the you see how the sword clips through the scabbard you okay your body type is determines how much it clips so you actually have to have the you have to have the tallest character and the stockiest character, whatever like wide or whatever the other slider is. Cause if you make them smaller, the sword actually starts to kind of bend out to where it's completely out of the scabbard then. Another thing is it something I ran into. If you put this mod on and the sword is floating above if the sword is floating above your uh above your character, like not even in there, it's just like floating over their head, you need to you need to actually go into the file that you downloaded and put it into the into one of the uh, files that's in the data folder. But when I'm gonna have the link in the description, it'll show you exactly what you need to do. You'll know what I'm talking about. So if you run into that problem, that's how you fix it. But it's in it's within the mod folders, so you'll see. That was everything with this mod. I hope you liked it. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about it, and let me know if you want to get this mod. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.